Hello and welcome. Let there be light. I have a light box. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant news. If you haven't already gone and seen that video first, you're probably wondering why is there a big, big shining light to the side. I explain it in my uh, lights unboxing, just that I wasn't very happy with the lighting conditions. In the UK, it started getting dark quite early now. I do a few videos when I get back from work and things, and uh, I wanted something that would give me a fair bit of light and uh, help with unboxings. This is the first video to make use of that new addition to the, the channel. And this is what I'm going to unbox. Hopefully you can see it, hopefully the lighting is a little better, bit better. The light box is huge, uh, if you've seen the unboxing, it's probably 20, 25 inches or so across diagonally. So I haven't got a small light box or anything like that. Uh, I think it's given me sufficient uh, lighting. It definitely, there's no sort of wobble that you get in um, in darker. I might, looking at, looking at this area here, I might set the other one up and have it so I've got two light sources. Thumbs up the video if you think I should do that. <laughs> right, so in here, I'm hoping, otherwise this is going to be a very awkward, uh, awkward video, I'm hoping that we've got the next two books of the Warhammer collections and um, this time it says fragile handle with care and there's no dints or anything so let's unbox this oh get some goodies look look at this wow so let's have a look at the goodies first of all so in here we have oh wow copyright games workshop uh, games workshop limited under license Ooh, some coasters. Ho ho! Um, someone help me out. Who's he? You've got to tell me. I, I'm I'm unfamiliar. That looks like a commissar. Wow, that's a cool one. That's a keeper. That's Howland Griffins, I think. Really nice. Hello, hello. That looks like a badden. A bad one. It's like Sisters of Battle. And here we have, I'm assuming that's Man. Such a beast. Right, so they look really cool. I'm, I'm a big fan of them already. They're really cool, especially, I love that one. And I really like the Sisters one. They're not too bad quality. They're sort of cork and these are metal. I don't think they're gonna scratch much. Uh, and you get six of them. So that's one of the free gifts. Oh, hello. And these bookends. So looks like these are the metal bookends. You probably need these as well. Uh, if you're gonna collect all 80 of these books. And yeah, they look, they look quite decent. They don't look like they're gonna scratch. Yeah, they're pretty cool. So. That's the uh, Horus Heresy or 40k bookends. Put them to one side. Ah, issue three and issue four. So, wow, four's quite a small one, isn't it? So issue three, let's have a little look at this. So this is Warriors of Ultramar by Graham McNeil. Um, I'm sure I've read this before, but it was, oh, it was probably well over 10 years ago or so, I'm sure of it. Um, if you don't know who Uriel Ventress is, um, what, why, are you, why are you collecting Space Marines? I mean, crikey, he's, he's a legend. Um, you know, you need to, to know about Uriel Ventress and his, uh, his epic stories. Um, and you need to read more Graham McNeil. I really like, although predictable um, at some points, he, he does write some excellent Space Marine novels. Um, let's have a look. So this one, I think it's going to be... It says UK £10. It's fine. Uh, and plenty of spare pages at the back, which is always quite odd. I like a book that has the right amount of pages, if that sort of makes sense. Not many extras. Ah, it says there, Graham McNeil has written more Horace Heresy novels than any other Black Library author. There you go. Vengeful Spirit, Thousand Sons, and the Primarch Anthology. Ultramarine series featuring Captain Uriel Ventris is now six novels long. 
has close links to his Iron Warriors stories. Storm of Iron, excellent book. Re I'd recommend you to read that too. So this is 371 pages. And again, looks like they're sticking to this format, guys. Uh, of some lovely artwork. That's the artwork on the front. I'm pretty sure that's Ventress. And that's his... Um, Beast of a sergeant with the flamer. I keep I forgot his name because it's so long ago. Um, look, and it says about the high fleets. It's the alternative cover. So there we go. So there's some artwork in there. That's classic, isn't it? That one. So oh, that's cool. Look at that. Remember, they carry three extra magazines. I said it correctly. They have three magazines clamped and they have a selection of um, grenades and they have their combat knife some carry their McCrag pattern bolt pistol I've been reading up I've been reading up I've re been reading up on the, the actual different parts of the armor as well I may well do a video about the anatomy of a space marine who knows if, if there's enough interest but um, and there's just one page of sort of adverts which is just that which is more of a black library advert which is a bit odd um, that looks really cool though, look at that, the high fleet smashing into the into the space marine cruisers and battle fleet. Like that would ever happen, they're not that fast, you know. They're pretty slow moving from what I've heard. Surely they'd be able to initiate light speed. <laughs> anyway, a uh, different universe. So yeah, it's the same format where you read half the book and then um, it splits up with a load of pictures, which isn't too bad and then um, you can read the rest. So that's Warriors of Ultramar, lovely novel, great author. Uh, this one's 15 Hours by Mitchell Scanlon. Um, oh, and this one is a bit shorter than the previous one. This one again would be £10. Um, hardback, a little bit of silver. Uh, looks like that's damaged a bit there though, which is... Um, a little bit frustrating but never mind that's not too bad you can oversee that so that's not too bad um, oh wow so you get some kind of map thing going on inside so this one Imperial Guard Lone Guardsman and it's Baptism of Fire in a combat spat in a combat zone where the average expected lifespan is a mere 15 hours he fights hand to hand uh, against the barbarous orcs so, it's Imperial Guard versus Orcs, 15 hours, average lifespan of a, of a Guardsman, pretty cool. And this book, I think it might be 200 pages, just 200 pages, just 200 pages. And again, there's some lovely artwork in here. It might be artwork that you've seen before, that's the Apocalypse sort of artwork, um, with a Stomper and a Lucius Pattern Warlord. I think that's a Thunderhawk Transporter. And Bane Blade right in the middle, getting close to the stomper. <laughs> so yeah, some really nice artwork. Looks like a bit of a nod to Road Trader there as well. But... <laughs> Look, they're not just showing the claw, they're showing part of the orc too. Um, yeah, some classic images there. And uh, there you go, so that's that book. But I haven't read that one, so I, I can't really giving my opinion on it um, but I'm always up for some guard on orc action and obviously space marines or you know Ventress um, against Tyranids just brilliant um, that's my little uh, sort of unboxing overview kind of video uh, first look at uh, issue three and four if you have enjoyed this video please remember to like share subscribe I've subscribe myself to this book collection I'm not sponsored by them I'm not paid by them or anything like that I I'm paying my my money the same as everybody else um, so it's completely unbiased uh, I just think for people that haven't bought this series or were thinking about it this video might might help you guys but if you want to see all of the books in this collection just stay tuned to the channel and I'll do an unboxing and, and overview of all of the books as and when they come out, as soon as they come out. I mean, I got these today. I'm doing the unboxing and, and stuff today as well. Thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thanks for watching. The Emperor Protects.